fluffies! Welcome to my new wardrobe post! This is my wardrobe, you know it, but there's a lot that changed in a year, so let's do it! Let's go through all my dresses and this year I decided to do it a little bit differently and I actually did my wardrobe post on fireworks! So if you don't know about fireworks, I will link a video up there and I'll explain everything. This is a new app where I'm at and it's 30 seconds videos. So I decided to show each dress in 30 seconds. And here in this video, you'll have the collection of all the 30 seconds videos that I made for firework. So I hope that you enjoy it. And I do a lot of different videos on firework done on YouTube, very short form content. So if you're tired of this seeing those 14 minutes long videos or like two hours once sometimes the live stream go on my firework and you can only spend 30 seconds per video so that's amazing and you can also turn to reveal more and that's really really cool so check out my firework and here's my dresses and throughout the video i will let you know about wear it or sell it if i see something that i have not worn let's talk about it this is an op from borderline it's kind of casual because it's an op and so you can really make a very simple cord easily but it's kind of tight here so i don't wear it as often but that's perfect for action lolita this is a dress from angelic pretty it's classic whip dot i think and this dress is perfect because it's very simple but it has a very elegant pattern so it's perfect to wear at birthday parties and any family event or anything where you want to wear lolita but you need to wear something elegant and you don't want to dress in ott suite that's perfect that is a cut so dress from angelic pretty this is not a lolita dress this is in the same texture as a t-shirt like a thick t-shirt but this is from angelic pretty so i love wearing that when i want to still be in a lolita kind of vibe but don't want to wear lolita so this is perfect for traveling or anything this is assorted cookies this is a black dress from borderline i think i bought it online kind of early in my lolita days and it was very cheap maybe i paid it like five or ten dollars because it was on sale so i said okay it's not the most pretty dress but i can probably get a lot of wear out of this dress because it's so cheap i don't wear it as much actually i've not worn it this year but i like to keep dresses like that for action lolita or for places i want to wear lolita too but i don't want to break any big brand dresses so I kind of keep it, but it's really not my favorite piece. This is Court Girl by Belle Long. It's a Taobao brand. And I love this dress because it's coat on there. And since I'm a huge geek, I really love, love, love this dress. It's very casual, super simple, but it's really nice. And I've worn it to the Museum of Computer Science. People loved it when I was wearing it there. And I really like being geeky and Lolita at the same time. This is really cool. This is one of my favorite dresses. Mercator Antique Shop from Angelic Pretty. This is my dream print. I love it so much. I'm kind of going away from other colors than mint and pink right now. So this is more difficult for me to wear this dress, but I really love it so much. And it does exist in mint, but it's super rare. So I'm really trying to get it in mint, so then I could have this print and the mint dress. That would be perfect, but really, really, the details on this dress is really amazing. And a lot of my friends have these dresses, so we can twin. This is Queen of Snow Fragment of Eternity I Hid in a Snow Globe. From Baby the Star Strand Bright, this is normal. I like a two sentence long print name. It's gorgeous. It's also not the color that I wear the most, but I really love the print. It's really, really amazing. And it's a winter dress, which I love. I love to have options to wear in winter. This is an OP from Little Deeper, and I really love it. The color is detachable, but this is really 
what makes the dress and it's so comfortable even though it has no shearing it's really really the most comfortable dress I have so I usually wear this dress when I travel like today I take the plane and everything I wear this because it's long and it's not too cold for the plane but it's also Lolita and if I do wear Lolita in the plane then I'm wearing my petticoat and then I don't have to store my petticoat in my baggage which is good this is a skirt from Long Ears and Sharp Ears Studio. This is Goldfish and Firework and it's been one of my dream prints forever. I think this is the third release they had and the fabric is really pretty. It's a sort of jacquard, but I was never really happy about the cuts of the JSKs. So right now I think I'm trying to find a JSK because I don't wear the skirts that much, but the print is so amazing. Maybe if I keep waiting, they will do your mint colorway. I don't know. And it's been my phone background picture for years, like maybe four or five years. I'm really, really into this print. This is a skirt from Access Fam. Access Fam does very casual automated uh, dresses, but also some that could be Lolita. And this one really fits a petticoat, so it's amazing. And it was super cheap. I bought it in Closet Child and I have not worn it this year because it's a skirt and it's very hard for me to try and wear skirts because most of the time you don't see the skirts when I do videos so yeah that's a bit sad because it's very pretty and I should actually wear it in my normal like everyday wardrobe because it's so comfy this is Hydrangea in Space from Strawberry Witch it's an OP and actually, I'm looking for the JSK. So if you want to trade with this OP, let me know. And it's the sack dress. It's really, really wide, even though you close it with the waist ties on the back, it's super wide. So I bought a belt that goes with it and helps me have a real uh, Lolita silhouette. This is a dress from Metamorphose Ton de Fille. And I love it. The fabric is so amazing. It's really, really pretty. It's uh, shimmery and everything. I love it, but it's a color that's impossible to coordinate. So usually I do it with other colors. I really don't have anything else that matches that color, except that one star clip and that's it. But it's so pretty and it's kind of simple, so it's easy to wear. This is Sugar Dream Dome from Angelic Pretty and this is my first ever brand dress. I bought it in Japan in, I don't know, 2016 maybe, I don't know, and I love it. Even though it's lavender, you know I hate lavender. I wish they would do a mint colorway, they don't. And maybe I will at some point get the mint, uh, the navy colorway, but it's so, so, so expensive, like $600 or something. But it's amazing, I really love the fur color here and the print is also gorgeous and I love it. This is a dress from Lise Lisa. Technically it's not a Lolita dress because it's too short. It's a more Otome Ogiado dress. But actually sometimes I wear it in a video like a Lolita dress and you don't see the bottom anyways. So I really, really love it. This is my first uh, Lise Lisa dress. And actually they do have various sizes, but apparently not in Japan, which is weird. So I never thought I could fit a Lise Lisa dress. This is a dress from Alice Girl. This is a Taobao brand and I bought it on AliExpress. This was from my video on AliExpress. Um, the big haul, kind of, why would you buy something from AliExpress? And actually I love it, it's so pretty. It's a little bit longer than my other dresses, but it's really, really nice for the price. This is Veronica Ellis from Baby the Stars Turn Bright. I really love this dress too. Lately I realized it's a little bit tight, but this is the most OTT dress I have from Baby. So if I should ever go to a Baby tea party, I would probably wear this. This is perfect for a tea party and it's very, very elegant and it's very delicate, but yeah, I don't wear it that often. Oh, recently I worn it with pink and it was really cool. This is a skirt from Metamorphose Ton de Fille. Like the other skirts, I have not worn it this year. And that's super sad because also it's so comfortable. I should really wear it in my everyday life uh, if I don't find the Lolita occasions for it. 
and it's so so nice and simple and comfortable. This is my first ever Lolita dress, I mean skirt, it's from Bodyline and actually I learned later that it might be a design replica from Angelic Pretty so it means that it's not a print but it copied something from Angelic Pretty. This is my first dress, I'm not selling it but really really I love it so much, it's thick and it's Really, really good quality for bodyline and for being a replica, so I keep it. And I've not worn it in a year either. This is a skirt from Bodyline. It comes in a set with a beret and a blazer. So I've actually worn this skirt alone and sometimes I wear the blazer alone. So yeah, this is really cool. And also from Bodyline, super easy to wash and uh, I can do crazy stuff for Action Lolita in this dress. This is a skirt that my friend Linda Lavalier made for me. This is gorgeous, she really went into a lot of detail. This is really, really incredible. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too big for me, but I've been able to use it for my friend makeover, Julie's makeover. Uh, it fits her super well, and actually that's very sad because I did not really had the chance to wear it this year. This is another one of my favorite prints, this is Eternal Carnival from Angelic Pretty. This is the special scent in mint and I do have the headboard that goes with it. It's just gorgeous and I had another one that I bought on the same trip that was cream and the shape here was less comfortable with the uh, seam here and this one is way more flattering and comfortable for my body. This is Rose Museum from Angelic Pretty. A friend of mine knew that I was wearing a lot of mint and pink and she said hey I'm selling this dress do you want to buy it and I was like yeah, yeah maybe and actually I love it it's so so comfortable sometimes it's not the dress that you dream of that fits you so much I have so many good comments about me wearing this dress probably I will wear it to an upcoming angelic pretty tea party because that would be the perfect dress this is Cinderella Bunny from Bodyline this dress was maybe $25 and it's super nice. I really like all the detailing and everything. And it's my first mint dress. I don't know if this one started the love for mint dresses or not, but I really like it. This is Chocolate Rosette from Angelic Pretty. And it's a chocolate and mint dress. It's super pretty. I do have also a head bow, I mean it's a beret that come with it because it's a special set also. Uh, Angelic Pretty does a lot of special sets for uh, the dresses that come in mint, so I really love that. Uh, that's not that often that the main first color of the release is mint, but then I can buy the special set and it's easier and cheaper to get the head bows. Perfect. And I am wearing Sweet Chocolate Journey from Fluffy Tori, this is my brand. I really love this dress and this is exactly my colors. It's the day colorway that is a gradient for from mint to pink with chocolate at the bottom. This is really everything that I love in dresses, so I'm so happy. This is Chess Chocolate from Angelic Pretty. This dress, a friend was selling it super cheap and Somebody said I want to buy it and then I said I want to buy it too and the first girl said oh but I have the pink colorway and Joelle loves the mint so she can have it. So thank you so much Bella for letting me buy it from Yume. I really appreciate it. I have the tights that go with it and that's so pretty. This is Doll Paradise from Souffle Song, Neverland Lolita. Actually, this is my first main dress, I think, and I really love it. It's a bit short, but it's also so, so, so pretty. I love the print, even though it's kind of very, very OTT and very, very sweet. I love wearing it. It's so comfortable. It's in chiffon, and so it's perfect for summer. This is a dress from Taobao. I bought it because it was mint and not too expensive, but it has a really, really weird shape, and it's kind of really made so I had to have it altered so it cost me more and I don't actually love it that much but it's super simple so maybe I can also do action lolita with it. This is Dino Doll from Angelic Pretty. It's not exactly mint, it's a little bit more blue, sexy, 
but I really love it. The print is so amazing. It's really, really, really cool. I really love this dress and I can tweeten with Cupcake Kamisawa. This is Shadow Dream Carnival from Angelic Pretty, the special set. This is an OP. I don't have that many OPs, so it's very simple. So you can just coordinate it all in mint. That's perfect. I have everything in mint, so I can just wear it with anything like mint. This is Lovely Snow Fantasy from Angelic Pretty. This is the latest dress that I got. It's also a special set and I was in Japan when they released this dress and I did not really like the price that it was for this fabric. I don't know, I was really underwhelmed. But then I bought it in mint and I'm actually super happy because I would not have bought it for that much more money in a color that I don't wear that much. So I got a special set. This is a cosmetic chocolate cat, something like that, from Diamond Honey. It's gorgeous. I bought it on Taobao. I'm really happy that I got it. I just got it and I did not wear it yet. It's a little bit tight, but I'm pretty sure I can wear it at least for videos. This is Sugar Fairy Cake from Angelic Pretty. It's also a special set and it's a halter neck, as you can see, and it's very, very tight and... I really love that print! So I think I will have it altered, like using the risk of to get a little bit more fabric on the back and maybe using the halter neck to do straps because I really really like it. This is Romantic Rose Letter from Angelic Pretty. This dress has a lot of history. I really wanted a special set OP in mint but I would never fit in it. And it's very hard to alter an OP because of the sleeves. So. I got this one instead, but I was really shocked because the white is not white and it's really, really minty. And so I thought that the girl did damage the dress. Then I did a PayPal claim. Nobody wanted to hear my excuses. And so then I was so mad because I knew the dress was damaged. And actually, my friend Mindy had the same and she said, no, 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 in this colorway, the white is not white. But on the head bow, the white is white and on the dress, the white is mint, so I really don't understand it. That's it. This is a dress from Access Femme. I love it because it's so casual, so comfortable. You can wear it like that or with a petticoat and it's perfect for Action Lolita for doing anything in the summer and it looks like denim. It's really, really nice. This is Coco something from Baby the Search and Bright. I have not worn it either. It's actually too tight, but I really love this dress. This skirt, it comes with a blazer that I will never ever fit, I'm pretty sure. But I love it so much. Last time I was able to wear it and leave this open because I could not close it with another blazer that would hide it. So that was perfect. But um, yeah, I have not done that this year, but it's so gorgeous. This is a dress from Souffle Song. I really love that print, but when I got it, I was really underwhelmed. I don't know, I don't wear it that much. And actually here it's very white and on the rest of the dress is really cream. So that's the kind of thing that bothers me. But apart from that, the print is very pretty. This is an OP from Bitter and Sweet. It's a European indie brand and I won it at my first modern doll fest. It was uh, in the raffle and I won it. So at first I thought I would not wear it because it's too simple, but I really actually like wearing it. It's very casual and it's nice. This is my first Hanuli dress, Crystal Guardian Fairy Princess. So it's a magical girl dress. I really like the print. And when she said she stopped making dresses, I had to buy something from her because I know Nunu personally and I want to support her. And so I got this one in pink. Also my first pink dress, actually. This is a dress from King Eleven. It's a brand from Taobao. The print is really gorgeous, but it's also one of these dresses. I've been looking a lot for them and then when I got them, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. It's also not the colors that I wear too much at the moment, but the print is pretty. This dress comes from AliExpress and a friend of mine bought it and it, it was way too big for her. So she decided to sell it for me super cheap. And so I have done pole dancing in Action Lolita with this dress. 
The last dress is from Metamorphose and I love it so much. It's a cream and a black velvet. The print is gorgeous. I really, really loved it when I saw it on Closer Child. And I think I can wear it with pretty much anything. I've worn it with a mint, with pink. Yeah, basically you can wear it with other colors and coordinate everything with the colors and black. And really that's an amazing dress. So after you've seen all my dresses, I have something to ask you. Do you have any dresses that is the exact same as me? Like the same cut and the same colorway? I would like to make a virtual twinning videos. So when I see you guys on social media, I see a lot of people who have the same dresses, exact same ones as me. And I think that would be so cool if you would send me pictures of you wearing a dress that I have worn and then I can make a whole video of us twinning uh, maybe I can photoshop them or something we'll see it depends on how many I get but I have so many dresses that you've just seen and I'm sure I can get at least 10 different people that could twin with me with the exact same dress and cut so contact me on Facebook or on Instagram and send me pictures of you wearing the same dress as me and we will twin. And the feature patron today is Clover Bunny. And you can see her channel in the link that I will put at the end of the video. And go check out her channel. She does Lolita fashion videos. She's just starting out. So she really needs your help. Go subscribe to her channel. Go watch her videos. Go like them. She does really good content. And she's a very experienced Lolita. She's just new on YouTube. But not new as a Lolita. So go check her out. Give her some love. And thank you so much for being a patron. Clover Bunny. So that's how she got featured here and if you want to have your channel or instagram or, or anything maybe featured here consider joining my patreon the link is in the description and remember everybody can be kawaii bye bye